What is going on everybody? Mata222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends movie Proxima Midnight figure. But as always guys, before we look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So right on the bottom, it says Avengers Infinity War, because of course she is a movie figure. Proxima Midnight, Legends series on the top, build a figure Thanos right there. Avengers logo on the top there. Shot of the character on both sides. Nice shot of the figure on the back with a brief little bio. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause this video now. And of course, there are the other figures available and the completed build a figure. And barcode and writing on the bottom. So, with that stuff out of the way, guys, I'm going to take a quick minute. I'm going to get her out of the box so we can, so that way we can take a closer look. All right, so taking a look at, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that, guys, just had to clear my throat. So taking a look at Proxima Midnight out of the package. Oh, man, she looks really nice, really, really nice. This this uh, figure is so, so much better, not so much better than I thought necessarily thought she would be, but I like her so much more than I thought I would. So that face sculpt, really digging the face sculpt. Really, really like that look. You can see she's got uh, kind of the red dots or the red spots on top. And they did a good job. It really looks like Proxima Midnight, the way she looks like in the movie. So that's very cool. Nice blue, blue, uh, I can't think of what I was going to say, guys. But the color... They did a nice job on the hair color. I like the navy-ish, kind of royalish blue. And it is sculpted pretty nice. Very, very nicely detailed. Uh, getting into her body, she is quite tall. I'm not sure what body mold this is, uh, but she is quite tall, which which is good. I mean, she, she, should, she should be a little bit taller than the other figures, you know? She does have this kind of texturing going all over her body uh, so you can see it's kind of wavy it's kind of with some ridges so she has that that's pretty nice and then on the on the left arm we got some gold armor nice paint detail is nice and it's kind of sculpted on there pretty good she's got her shoulder pad uh just be careful if you keep her arm up too long this might start to uh come off i did make the mistake of doing that i had her pose with the spear up on my uh on my desk and then when i took the spear down and kind of took it took me i had to use some hot water to bring that back down so do use some caution right there and she's got the same gold armor on the left leg a little bit of, a little bit of texturing right there a little bit of texturing on the shoes other than that, not really any sculpted detail on the figure itself. Like, she's not wearing... I mean, she's kind of... She's got a belt or something, like you can see right there. But it's just kind of... It's just kind of on, and they just kind of painted it over. So I'm thinking that this body was for... Uh, well... I'm thinking that like this piece is going to show up again at a later figure that'll use this body or a previous figure and they cuz they just kind of painted it over but not bad hands are pretty cool too same kind of texturing so overall nice detail looking at her articulation the head moves side to side forward and back arm moves up to about here and you're not going to be able to rotate this one because of this piece but you can rotate this one moves out this far forward and this far forward moves up to about here doesn't see the difference so this definitely will inhibit the articulation a little bit she has bicep swivel and holy shit is, is it the end of the world a double jointed elbow a female Marvel Legends <clears throat> with a double jointed elbow. That is crazy to me. I'm guessing because it's a larger it's a larger figure, but wow. So pretty cool. 
She's got the double jointed elbow. I'm impressed. And standard diaphragm joint. Not really a lot of movement. You don't really get a lot out of this. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze, but then I didn't. Get forward and back, and you can get a weird side angle, but not the best movement. Hips move out to here. She kicks this far forward. This far back. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. Ankle pivot and ankle rocker. And the only other thing with the legs, guys, is the more you kind of rotate them, the more it'll kind of break up the sculpt. Uh, I don't know how it's supposed to go, but... Like, I don't know if the white's supposed to be connected there, but that's not right. But that's not really a big detail. That's not really important. Stand up. Stand up. Jeez. Her one accessory is her spear, which is nice. Great. Can you guys see that? You see that? Great detail on the spear. Love the way it looks. I mean, it's all molded in that kind, in a gold, in just gold plastic. So, and then she's got kind of the gun on the back. It's just molded in the black, in the black. I can't talk this morning in the gold plastic, but it looks really cool. Really like it, and it fits with her perfectly oh come on there you go is that proxima midnight she also comes with a thanos piece but we'll look at that when we look at that figure but all in all guys i really like this figure when when she was first announced i, I didn't like it because i thought like oh man this really should have been a comic figure why are they giving us a movie a movie Proxima Midnight, but after watching the movie, I'm, I'm more, I'm invested in the Black Order, man. I want, I want them all. I want them all in Legends form. But even if we don't, this is still a great figure. I will still recommend you pick her up because she's really cool. A lot of nice detail, and get her alone for the female double jointed elbows. It's insanity, man. So definitely recommend. But other than that. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me some of that love down below. Hit that subscribe button because I'm bringing you... I'm sorry, I didn't mean that to sound so angry because I'm bringing you new videos almost every day. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on this figure. Check out all my social media links in the description and make sure you head over to Facebook. Check out the Sanctuary page. Come hang out with us there. Come talk to us there. And check out all the other action figure community groups, too. And other than that, that is it, guys. Thank you again for watching. You have yourself a great day. When I am recording this, it is the start of a long weekend if you live in Canada. So if you do live in Canada, enjoy that long weekend. If you don't live in Canada, but it's a weekend for you anyway, then just still enjoy your weekend. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time with another figure review. And bye.